Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we'll be uh, changing the brake pads on a 2009 Ford Ranger. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon, and let's go ahead and get started. Pictures. Um, the one to the right, it's uh, it's a bad disc. The one to the left, so it's a good disc. Uh, the reason why you want is want to inspect this is because it's very important before you guys put the brake pads. Most of the time, if you guys see them to the right, you have to take them to the machine shop and get them turned. Or if uh, if they are too bad and they can't turn them, you gotta you gotta replace them. So um, just to let you guys know before uh, we start. All right, you have to take out the brake uh, cap, the oil cap. That way, when you guys um, Clamp the, the, the caliper, it has enough room to, for all the oil to go up there and it's not uh, forcing the lines when you guys are clamping the caliper or clamping the caliper. As you can see, I'm taking the lug nuts um, out with this uh, impact drill. Before I did this, I had the vehicle on, on the floor. And basically I took a breaker bar and just um, uh, turned them a little loose and then you can put jack it up and in the air you can use an impact gun or you can use any other type of uh, a ratchet or anything whatever you have to get those nuts loose as you can see I missed one of them so I have now I have to do the whole process over again so I have to lower the, the tire to a little bit because uh, you can't lower it all the way because you don't have all those uh, nuts in there, lug nuts. So it was so tight that I had to actually put my foot in there, get it untight. So that's a little hack right there. Uh, if you have a long enough uh, ratchet or um, a breaker bar or a torque wrench. And this is, I uh, already took the tire off, so I'm taking out the bolts. They do have two bolts uh, on the caliper. Trying to get them loose. There's one, not the other one loose. All right. Once you get them loose, you can probably take them off with your hand. Usually you should be able to take them off with your hand. <clears throat> and then you can get that um, out. Just be careful with it because it does have a line, a brake line attached to it. So just put, if you don't have anywhere to put it, just uh, get a wire and just tie it up and uh, you can um, put it to the. Uh, this is a good time to inspect the brake pads, the old brake pads, see if it, there's anything bad about them. Um, while you do this, you can inspect, uh, inspect the disc on both sides. Make sure it doesn't have any dents or it doesn't look like the pictures on the, from the beginning of this video. And if it does look like that, you either have to take it to the machine shop, get it uh, turned or resurfaced, or you have to uh, replace it with a new one. Mine was okay, so I just left it like it was. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm clamping the, the caliper. I'm using an old brake pad. And remember how we took the cap up off uh, the top? Uh, so right now we're clamping it, we're actually squeezing the caliper back to its uh, new or normal position all the way in. What it's doing, it's sending all this fuel through that line all the way to the reservoir on the top. And this is the easiest way to do it, so just with the clamp and just put the, the clamp in the middle of the two pistons. All right.
once you are done with that. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, I'm not a professional mechanic, so, and this is not a how-to video. This is just uh, uh, me changing the brake pads on my vehicle. So just to let, uh, let you guys know, uh, whatever you guys do, it's your, uh, you guys take full responsibility for your, for your actions. Uh, I would just definitely um, do your research before you do anything like this. Watch a couple videos. This is not really a how-to or step-by-step. -step. This is just me doing it and for you guys to, to see. Because right now I'm comparing the shims, uh, the little metal pieces. You have to compare the every tool uh, or every part with what uh, the old part. And uh, replacing that before I put the new brake pads back in. And always inspect the old brake pads and the new brake pads. Make sure it's a matching... Uh, it's a matching part as you can see right there I'm comparing them make sure they're equal everything's uh, the same once you know they're the same you can put it back in there and just make sure you know what because some vehicles do have a different pad on the inside and the outside of the bisque It's a little hard to get in there, but eventually it'll go in there. And like I said, before you put everything together, make sure you inspect the discs, uh, the rotors on both sides. Make sure uh, you take it to a machinist, a machine shop, and they'll measure it for you and see if they can cut the, the rotor for you or if you guys need a replacement. I'm just making sure it's settled in there. I put the, the bolts already in there. I'm just going to tie everything up. For me personally, I just like it hand tight, a uh, little, uh, little tighter than normal. Uh, just basically hand tight. And then you replace the, make sure you replace the cap after you're done with both sides. Put the tire back on. Put the lug nut or the nuts back on. If you have an impact tool or a little drill like an impact drill that I have make sure you thread them first with your hand and then do the impact because uh, you can damage the the thread make sure they're fully threaded in there once they're threaded in there then you can use the impact to put them all the way in And I'm basically using an impact drill with uh, an attachment, a 3 8 to a uh, half an inch uh, attachment for the socket. Then you lower the vehicle and what you do is you torque them to 100, uh, 100 pounds of uh, torque. And what you do is, uh, when you when you're doing this, just make sure you do it twice. Make sure you hear hear that click twice, so you can make sure they're all um, settled in properly. And I usually do it at a hundred uh, pounds of torque. So just look at your uh, vehicle's manual. It'll tell you what you can uh, what you can torque them to. All right, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.